I feel like the best way to know if a school is right for you is asking the other students. As soon as I got on campus, it just, it felt right. The people that you meet in college will be your friends forever. Hey. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> now making me think about it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Johnson & Wales has a very unique campus, and like we have a very unique community too, it's very diverse. Our campuses, even though they seem big and we have two of them here, they're so connected. Harborside is that classic college feel of everything around you is part of the college. And then the Down City campus is a city campus, so there's a few of our buildings, then a few buildings that are part of the city, so it's a little bit more spaced out. I've lived on campus all four years here, all different experiences. With me and I being a very social person, get to experience a lot of roommates and people, it's always a great thing. They do have to live on campus on freshman and sophomore year, and then for junior and senior you have an option to either live on campus again or off campus. And we do have an off campus student service too, so if you want to live off campus and you don't know where to start, you can always come to them and they will help you with your moving off campus process. I was actually a commuter my first year, so I didn't have to move on campus or any of that, but I like living on campus definitely much better than off campus though. Do you think living on campus helps you make more friends? Yes. Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. You don't realize how hard it is to make friends right. when you're living off campus. Right. All of our clubs and organizations sign up to help move in the first year students. Well, everybody comes in with a shirt with whatever club they're with, with the name on the back. It was a pretty easy process actually, it wasn't crazy difficult. I remember pulling my car up in front of West Hall, which was my first hall, and we opened the back of the car and all of the stuff was suddenly gone and I walked into my room and it was all there, like so fast. It's, it's like an army. And don't bring too much stuff, sometimes oh, yeah. you don't need it. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't bring too much because it's going to be just as painful to pack Just down. bring the things you need. I'll be like, oh, I go to Johnson & Wales, and they're like, oh, what are you, a culinary major? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then you say cybersecurity, and they're like, oh. Johnson & Wales, it kind of stuck out to me, just seeing that they had all these other different majors that you could choose from. When I was looking at Johnson & Wales, I didn't really know that there was this big of a culinary or baking program, so I was just gonna go straight through with food service management. But then when I found out about the baking program, I switched to the food service management as a bachelor's, uh, but the baking and pastry as the associates. I applied for the school as a biology major, and then I was like interested in cybersecurity, so I ended up like being sure of it once I went into freshman year. So I changed my major over the summer coming into freshman year. I started out as a software engineering major, but then my sophomore year I changed my major to advertising because one marketing class that I took. So I changed the major. All I did was just go to the academic service and talk to my academic advisors. She helped me through everything and I changed my major. It's very easy too to do that here. I can also relate to that too. I started off at um, health science and then I took some research classes that really got into public health, details about it, and I fell in love with it as well and I switched over to public health. That's something that's really nice about JWU is that you don't have to have a certain idea of what you want. You can change your mind a little bit later on. You know, you see the movies, it's like 5,000 students in one <laughs> yeah. class. When you see it on TV, you see these big, large lecture halls and everyone submitting their papers to TAs, and that was something I didn't want to do. So that was another draw for me, is having such small classes and getting to know all of your classmates and your teacher helps you one-on-one. -on -one. They have office hours, they, you're able to email them. My professors, they know all of their students by week two. I only had like 20 people in my intro class, which I really liked. They gave you a taste of your major in the beginning of the, your first semester, so that way it was like, oh, okay, this is what I'm going to be dealing with for the next three years. I really like this, so, you know, and if I didn't, I could have switched easily. And I love the fact that everything that you're learning in the classroom, they, you really get to put that in action in the lab, so that was really nice. Having such a small class in such an intimate environment really helps for like getting to know people as well. So we do have an experiential education and career services here. They essentially will help you with your resume, they help you with um, looking for internships, they help you with, they even do like mock interviews. For my major it is required that your junior year you grab an internship or if you're graduating early your sophomore year you grab an internship. You also have a career advisor on campus that helps a lot so if you don't know where to start to apply for an internship or you don't even know what internship you want to get you can always meet with them one on one and then they can help you with everything you need for your internship. That's very helpful. 
I love the New England feel, honestly. Yeah. It's Exposed bricks everywhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a city feeling, but it's not a busy city feeling. And Providence is also like a small city and we don't have tall buildings, so our city is really, really nice. You can see the sunset every day. Yeah. I love to walk around the city to go to the Providence Place Mall or to Thayer Street. The mall is only seven minutes away from our down city campus, makes it really convenient. And there's so many restaurants around here. It's like water fire, I tell them about some of the Providence tradition. Oh. Um, I would tell them about Boston is not far from here, New York is not far from here. Here, so my friends and I would drive up there sometimes, so that's something to look forward to. I've never had a car on campus, even though it is an option. Uh, I've always depended on our bus system, which uh, there's always a bus available to you. The bus stops right outside of Gaby Commons. You just stop there. You're already paying for it in tuition. All you need is your ID, you get on. And they run about every 10 to 15 minutes, so. We also have RIPTA, which is Rhode Island Public Transportation. And we also have like the train station is only located 10 minutes away walking from here. So if you want to go to New York yeah. or Philly, you can always take the train. So I'll go home all the time and one of the best way to travel is actually by the bus. So the bus station is walking distance from campus. And also freshmen is allowed to have a car on campus here. That helps a lot if you have a car too. I always feel safe around campus. There's always a safety and security person either patrolling or watching the cameras. Anytime you feel unsafe or anything, again, our blue system's always around. You can just press them and automatically get connected with safety and security. We also have a safety and security officer when you go in your, res in your residential hall. I feel safe, you know, we always have the key, the key cards on the doors. And the Providence Police Substation is also located right over here. I love Snowden because it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. That's my favorite. It's our main cafeteria here. Um, they always have different menu every single day, which is nice because we're not going to get bored with the food. And then even if you have like, if you have an allergies or like a preference, you can always meet with the chef one-on-one -on -one and they can even talk to you and create a specialized menu for you. And also they have different kinds of stations inside. They have the um, deli station, healthy stations, they have pizza, burger. And they have like four selections of wings and fries and like nacho fries and all that. And they sometimes do the breakfast on dinner too, yeah. so you eat pancakes like at 8 p.m. See, for me it's red sauce. Red sauce, that's probably my favorite place, honestly. <laughs> the calzones, they're my favorite, and then the lasagna is also my favorite. I also like how Snowden, you, they can also accommodate for you. So like yeah. they accommodate for the people that like a gluten-free diet, dairy-free diet, wheat-free diet, all that stuff. Coming as a freshman, you need to get the 14-18 um, meal plan. Um, they both reset after the week is over. So I usually went with the 14 just because I went to labs, so I usually ate in labs, and it was perfect for me. The 14 reset after the week is over. It's really great to have. You always have your flex dollars as well. You could also use it at Liberty Market um, for things that aren't necessarily food, like if you need a new notebook or a, a Tide pen for labs or anything like that. So I'd say clubs are like really important that definitely would join a club because my club, you know, we hang out on the weekends, but like also we do competitions and all that on the weekends. It was really fun. And we do have a lot of options of clubs and organizations on campus. We have like around 120-ish clubs available. Cooking Asia, which is like an Asian culinary group. Hack clubs. Week life. Hockey. Volleyball. There's so many different events that we have on our green spaces that like there's no way not to have fun here. Even if it's just the movie nights on uh, Thursday nights that one of our clubs puts up for us. Snowball. <laughs> I was thinking the same yeah. thing. <laughs> I don't have prom in my high school, so snowball is kind of like our college prom here. And that was yeah. kind of like my first prom experience. Food. That's amazing. Yeah, the food, the food, food amazing. is amazing too. Yeah. Oh, and I also love the one ton Sunday. It's on Sunday. One, one ton, ton Sunday ton too. Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Ice cream. That's a good one. My favorite is definitely pause to de-stress. Even though it's like smaller, I love that. Like right before finals, they bring dogs that you can pet. You can make stress balls, you can do coloring. Wildcat Madness too is one of them. <laughs> it's nice to see everyone come out and just show school spirit for the teams. It's the Wildcat Wahoo. I love it. <laughs> That's the one at the, sp in, in the end of the year, right? I want to go to that one so bad. Sort of like the Johnson & Wales Carnival. So they have like different carnival rides, carnival games, you know, the food truck, all the fun stuff. I'm so happy that I came to Johnson & Wales. I love the environment. I love everybody here. I love the teachers. It really is a, a great place to like have your college experience. It's all about what you make it. Um, for the next four years, this is going to be your home. Um, I do not regret picking Johnson & Wales. 
my number one school. Yeah, they really do set you up for a career here. So I'm really glad that when after I graduate in another two years, um, you know, I'll be ready for that. I already have my job, I already have an internship experience. So, you know, I won't be leaving empty handed. So I'm really happy that that's part of the program. This really kind of helped me make my decision to come here at Johnson & Wills, that the program was actually going to prepare me for my future. If I go to Johnson & Wills, I'm not going to worry about having problems finding jobs when I graduate. All the stuff that you learn in class is very hands-on and it's the real skills that you need when you have a job. So they really do prepare you um, to go to the real life after you graduate. I feel like it's the best thing that I can get the best experience out there in the industry in the world. Right. I almost never go home. I'm here every <laughs> summer during the breaks. Like I honestly don't want to leave. Like when people say, are you going home? I think they mean, am I going back to my dorm room? Because like Johnson & Wells is my home and it's where I feel comfortable at. I would say the hardest part about being here right now as a senior is I have to leave soon. And that's going to be hard. Uh, because I love it here so much. Your next four years, you're going to meet some of the maybe people that you're going to keep for the rest of your lives here. I absolutely think this is the best choice I ever made in my life. Definitely.